Dear Mother, I've been asked to write to you by Uncle Bernard and Auntie May to let you know how my holiday has been here at their home in Weymouth. I've been walking every day with Uncle Bernard. On Tuesday we walked... Yesterday, I saw a soldier. He was dressed in uniform, wearing a navy blue tunic and a red chest that made him look like a robin. The red chest had golden buttons. May 29th. Nineteen fifteen. Dear Mother, I hope that you and Father are both doing well. I'm now sat at port waiting for the last part of my journey to the front lines. I, I wanted to say... I wanted to say that I'm sorry that I upset you by joining up, but I wanted to explain a bit so that you understand. November 1st, 1916. Dear Mother, I know that you have not heard from me in some time. However, I am writing this letter to let you know that after some months of hellish fighting, I am still alive. I my rifle close to my chest, and I said a prayer for safety. The pounding of the guns had now been replaced with the pounding of my heart, and in that second, I am ashamed to say that I thought about leaving my post and trying to die. The order was given, and before I knew it, I had climbed the ladder and I was standing facing the Huns' lines. Yours dearly, Thomas James Yours dearly, Brooke. Thomas James Yours dearly, Brooke.